Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about checking bearing clearance. There's a few things you'll need. Um, an inside mic, an outside mic, uh, preferably a rod vise, and um, your crank and your rods. So today we're working on a, a BC Stroker uh, Toyota 2JZ. It's going to be a uh, 3.4 liter with some uh, manly turbo tufts and manly pistons but we're gonna measure the crank up while we have it on the bench. So you'll go ahead and take your mic and slide it down onto the crankshaft, um, respect that it is sharp and you can mark the crank up. And most mics have a clutch where I can turn this as many times as I want. However, it's not gonna sandwich down on the crank journal anymore. If I grab the end of it and, and force it down, I'm gonna make an inaccurate reading. You just wanna get the air gap gone and that's kind of the, as tight as you get it and you should be able to slide the mic around gently There'll be some tension, but again, you don't want to crank it tight. Most mics have a little lock on them, so I can lock this down. But once you've got your measurement on the um, outside mic, what I do is I kind of lob it into the vise so it'll hold still. And then take the inside mic and plunge it into the outside mic. And you'll have to fumble around with it a little bit to get it zeroed out. Next, you're gonna take the connecting rod with the bearing inserted in it with a little bit of oil on the bearing. You're gonna take the inside mic and you're gonna plunge it into the rod. And what you're gonna do then is measure the vertical bearing clearance. So on this particular rod with this particular bearing, we've got just over a thou and a half. Hope you're taking away some good information from these tech tip videos. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can make a suggestion on anything you'd like to see in the future. And if there's uh, parts that you're missing for your build or you're looking to get in a build and you want to speak to a qualified, experienced sales guy, give us a call. Purchase the tools Jay used in this episode and view past episodes of Jay's tech tips at realstreetperformance.com forward slash tools.